Peace and blessings, family. This is your brother, Peter Dada Judah. Coming back at you for day 10 of the Wisdom Series. Um, apologies yesterday for my sound. I did a sound check today, so I believe we shall be good and y'all should be able to hear me today. Like I said, it's the Wisdom Series. Today I'll be coming at you with Proverbs 10, Ecclesiastes chapter 10, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 10, and the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach. Chapter 10. And without any further ado, any more hindrance, Proverbs chapter 10 from the top. Proverbs of Shalomo. A wise son makes a father rejoice, but a foolish son is his mother's sorrow. Treasures of wrongness are of no value, but righteousness delivers from death. Yahuwah does not let the being of the righteous go hungry, but he thrust away the Thrust away the desire of the wrong. Poor is he who works with a lazy hand, but the hand of the hard worker makes rich. He who gathers in the summer is a wise son. He who sleeps in harvest is a son who causes shame. Blessings are in the head of the righteous, but violence covers the mouth of the wrong. The remembrance of the righteous is blessed, but the name of the wrong ones rocked. The wise in heart accepts commands. But one with foolish lips falls. He who walks in integrity walks safely, but he who perverts his ways becomes known. He who winks with an eye causes sorrow, and one foolish one with foolish lips falls. The mouth of the righteous is a is a fountain of life. But violence covers the mouth of the wrong. Hatred covers up strife, but love covers all transgressions. Wisdom is found on the lips of him who has understanding. But a rod is for the back of him who lacks heart. The wise treasure of knowledge, but the mouth of a fool is near ruin. The rich man's wealth is strong city, is his, is his strong city. The ruin of the poor is their poverty. The wage of the righteous is for life. The increase of the wrong is for sin. He who heeds discipline is in the way of life, but he who refuses reproof goes astray. He who hides hatred has lying lips. And he who sends out a slander is a fool. When words are many, transgression is not absent. But he who restrains his lips is wise. The tongue of the righteous is choice silver. The heart of the wrong is of little value. The lips of the righteous shepherd many, but the fools die for lack of heart. The blessing of Yahuwah makes one rich, and he adds no pain with it. To work out wicked schemes is like sport to a fool, but wisdom is for a man of understanding. What the wrong one fears comes upon him, but the desire of the righteous is granted. As a whirlwind passes by, the wrong one is no more, but the righteous has an everlasting foundation. As vinegar to the teeth and smoke to the eyes, so is the lazy one who sends him. The fear of you who will prolongs days, but the years of the wrong ones are shortened. The righteous look forward to joy, but the expectancy of the wrong ones perish. The way of Yahuwah is a stronghold for the perfect, but the ruin, but ruin to the workers of wickedness. The righteous is never shaken, while the wrong shall not dwell in the earth. The mouth of the righteous brings forth wisdom but the tongue of perverseness is cut out. The lips of the righteous know what is pleasing, but the mouth of the wrong speaks perverseness. That was Proverbs chapter 10, verses 1 through 32. So turn with me to the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 10, from the top. Dead flies make the perfumer's ointment stink. Ferment, a little folly outweighs wisdom, the sting. A wise man's heart is at his right hand, but a fool's heart is at his left. Also, when a fool walks along the way, his heart fails and he shows everyone <laughs> that he is a fool. If the spirit of the ruler rises against you, do not leave your post, for calmness lays to rest great faults. There is an evil that I have seen under the sun as a mistake coming from one from the ruler. Folly is set in many high positions while the rich sit in a humble place. I have seen servants on horses 
and rulers walking on the ground like servants. He who digs a pit falls into it, and whoever breaks through a wall is bitten by a snake. He who quarries stone is hurt by them. He who splits wood is endangered by it. If an iron tool is blunt and one does not sharpen the edge, then he needs more strength and wisdom is advantageous to make right. If the snake bites without enchantment, then the master of the tongue is no better. Words of a wise man's mouth show favor, but the lips of the fool will swallow him up. The beginning of the words of his mouth is foolishness, and the end of his talk is wicked madness. A fool, and a fool increases words. A man knows not what shall come to be, and who declares to him what shall be after him. The labor of fools wearies them, because no one knows how to go to the city. Woe to you, O land, when your sovereign is a youth, and your rulers feast in the morning. Blessed are you, O land, when your sovereign is the son of nobles, and your rulers feast in due season, for strength and not for drunkenness. Because la laziness, because of laziness, the framework tumbles, and through idleness of hands, the house leaks. A feast is made for laughter, and wine gladdens life. And the silver answers all. Do not curse the sovereign, even in your thought. Do not curse the rich, even in your bedroom. For a bird of the heavens conveys the voice, and a possessor of wings makes the matter known. That was the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 10, verses 1 through 20. All right, family, let's take it to the Apocrypha. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 10. Alright, here we go. She, preferred, she preserved the first form father of the world. She was created alone and brought him out of his fall and gave him power to rule all things. But when the unrighteous went away from her in his anger, he perished also in the fury wherewith he murdered his brother. For whose cause the earth being drowned with the flood, wisdom again preserved it, and directed the course of the righteous in a piece of wood of small value. Moreover, the nations in their wicked conspiracy being confounded, she found out the righteous and perverse, preserved him blameless unto Elohim, and kept him strong against his tender compassion toward his son. When the ungodly perished, she delivered the righteous man who fled from the fire which fell down upon the five cities, of whose wickedness, even to this day, the wasteland that smoketh is a testimony, and plants bring fruit that never come to ripeness, and a standing pillar of salt is a, is a monument for an unbelieving soul. For regarding not wisdom, they get not only this hurt that they knew not the things which were good but also left behind them to the world as a memorial of their foolishness so that in the things wherein they offended they could not so much be as be hid but wisdom delivered from pain those that attempted upon her attended upon her when the righteous fled from his brother's wrath she guided him in right paths shewed him the kingdom of Elohim and gave him knowledge of, of holy things, made him rich in his travails and multiplied the fruit of his labors. In the covetousness of such as oppressed him, she stood by him and made him rich. She defended him from his enemies and kept him safe from those that lay in wait. And in a sore conflict, she gave him the victory that they might know that God in this is stronger than all. When the righteous was sold, she forsook him not, but delivered him from sin. She went down with him into the pit, and left not him in bonds, till she bought him the scepter of the kingdom and power against those that oppressed him. 
As for them that had accused him, she showed them to be liars and gave him perpetual glory. She delivered the righteous people and blameless seed from the nation that oppressed them. She entered into the soul of the servant of Yahuwah and withstood dreadful kings in wonders and signs, rendered to the righteous a reward of their labors, guided them in a marvelous way, and was unto them for a cover by day and a light of stars in the night season brought them through the Red Sea and led them through much water. But she drowned their enemies and cast them out of the bottom of the deep. Therefore the righteous spoiled ungodly and praised thy holy name, O Yahuwah, and magnified with one accord thine hand that fought for them. For wisdom opened the mouth of the dumb and made the tongue of them speak that, that cannot speak eloquent. That was the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 10. Now we go to Ecclesiasticus chapter 10. A wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. And wise king destroyeth his people. For through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. The power of the earth is in the hand of Yahuwah, and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable. In the hand of Elohim is the prosperity of man, and upon the person of the scribe shall he lay his honor. Bear not hatred to thy neighbor for every wrong, and do nothing at all by injurious practices. Prideful, pride is hateful before Elohim and man, and by both do one commit iniquity. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Why is earth and ashes proud? There is not more a wicked thing than a covetous man. For such an one setteth his own soul to sell because while he liveth, he casteth away his bowels. The physician cutteth off a long disease, and he that is today a king, tomorrow shall die. For when a man is dead, he shall inherit creepy thing, beast and worms. The beginning of pride is when one departeth from Elohim, and his heart is turned away from his maker. For pride is the beginning of sin, and he that hath it shall pour out an abomination. And therefore Yahuwah brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. Yahuwah has cast down the thrones of proud princes and set up the meek in their stead. Yahuwah have plucked up the roots of the proud nations and planted them lowly in their place. Yahuwah overthrew countries of the heathen and destroyed them to the foundations of the earth. He took some of them away and destroyed them, and he made their memorial to cease from the earth. Pride was not made for men, nor furious anger for them that are born of a woman. They that fear Yahuwah are a sh sure seed, and they that love him an honorable plant. They that regard not the law are a dishonorable seed, and they that transgress the commandments are a deceiving seed. Among brethren, he that is chief is honorable. So are they that fear Yahuwah in his eyes. The fear of Yahuwah goeth before obtaining of authority. But roughness and pride is the losing thereof. Whether he be rich, noble, or poor, in their glory is the fear of Yahuwah. It is not meet to despise the poor man that have understanding, neither is it convenient to magnify a sinful man. Great men and judges and potentates shall be honored. Yet is there one of them? Is there none of them greater than he that fear of Yahuwah? Unto the servant that is wise shall they that are free to do service, and he that have knowledge will not grudge when he is reformed. Be not otherwise in thy doing business, and boast not. 
be not overwise in doing thy business, and boast not thyself in the time of thy distress. Better is he that laboreth and aboundeth in all things than he that boasteth himself and wanteth bread. My son, glorify thy soul in meekness. And give it honor according to the dignity thereof. Who will justify him that sinneth against his own soul? And who will honor him that dishonoreth his own life? The poor man is honored for his skill. And the rich man is honored for his riches. He that, honor, he that is honored in poverty, how much more in riches? And he that is dishonorable in riches, how much more in poverty? That was Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 10. Family, I thank you for tuning in with me this evening for day 10 of my wisdom series. Um, apologies for the noise in the background. I'm outside with my daughter. She's playing with the neck of her kids. But that's another story. But um, I pray y'all have a blessed work week. Y'all are working if you're not, if you're retired. I pray you have a just regular week. Remember, continue to stand on the word of the most high. Study to show thyself approved, seek his face, humble thyself, continue to be meek, and express love. Uh, and on that note, I want to leave you with something extra. Ephesians 5, chapter 1, it reads, Become then imitators of Elohim as beloved children. So, family... Become imitators of our Father as His children. It's like everybody want to be like their mother or their father when they was little, little children. We continually have to be that way with our Father in heaven. Become imitators, family. It's your, bro it's your brother straight out of Judah. Peace.